Hey guys, welcome back to another commentary by Synatic Starcraft. And before I start casting this game, I would like to address first that I think the Grandmaster's placement uh, this season is completely broken because, I mean, a lot of the big names like Hydra, 21-7, there's, there's lots of big names and there's a whole thread about it. Everybody's complaining and, you know, com everybody's going like, whoa, why didn't I get placed and stuff, and apparently the, uh, what do you call it, the, uh, the Grandmasters League closed, like, two hours after it came out, so it was, like, kind of like a first-come, first-serve thing, which made it really unfair, and there's a lot of, uh, good players that didn't get placed in, which is kind of sad to see, as top Grandmasters should be the top 200 of that region, right? And uh, I think I would have had a chance to get in as well if I played earlier. I mean, playing today, I've played against Slush, I've played against Baz, both are uh, pretty high in Grandmasters. I mean, Slush, I think, right now, he's like fourth in Grandmasters or something, but my MMR is pretty high, and uh, I felt like it was very unfair. I mean, Baz is right here, and Slush is down here, 14 and 16 in Grandmasters. I got to play with them. Uh, just recently, because you can see, like, uh, an hour ago. But, uh, nonetheless, I'm sure Blizzard will fix that. And, uh, I will continue to cast my games once I find it. So, this one will be a ZBZ showing my, uh, ZBZ opener right now. Uh, to be honest, ZBZ is actually, like, the worst match of all, of all time for me, mainly because it's... I, uh, I'm not very solid at it, but I'm not terrible at it, but, uh, it's, like, the, the openers are kind of coin flippy, and then, uh, from there, I guess it's whoever really has more practice and, uh, goes for the longer games get to, uh, succeed in this matchup. I mean, once you're good at ZBZ, you're good at ZBZ, and I just noticed what I said here was pretty rude, by <laughs> asking if, uh, I had that handicap guy, I, I didn't realize it sounded offended or, or if I offended him or something. But uh, there's that video of that one guy who uh, couldn't use his hands and he was on a wheelchair and he could play StarCraft with just, you know, like, I don't know, but just search it up, I'm sure you'll find it. I think Husky had did something on it. But uh, so I thought, I thought that was pretty cool, so I just asked him about it, but I did sound pretty rude in the chat there, so I apologize. If that did sound kind of rude, DVD Gaming is pretty famous. Their gaming community is getting pretty big. Uh, they used to do Counter-Strike and all that. Uh, I don't know what they do now, but obviously they do StarCraft 2. And this guy is on the roster, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he is. But anyways, going to my ZDZ opener, I like to either Speed First, Speed Link Expand. That's the most common build you'll ever see. Uh, I use that uh, maybe like half the times, but I, I prefer using this one where I 15 hatch, but obviously it's going to be weaker to 6 and 10 pools and anything between that. But nonetheless, I do believe this build is pretty strong, and uh, 15 hatching will always give you the econ advantage, so uh, there you go. So throwing down a 15 hatchery, drilling up to 15 again, and I'm going to be throwing down a 15 pool right after, there it goes right now. And then drilling up back up to 17 before I grab my gas. He looks like he's going for the speedling expand, which is uh, probably 90% of Zergs will open with that, so uh, that's what you can expect. Getting my gas at 17 now, and gonna be getting an Overlord once uh, I get 100 minerals. So there we go. And now we're just waiting till the Overlord hatchery and spawning pool finish. Fill up your gas when it comes up, obviously. So he is going for the speedling expand, getting the. Zergling speed, queens, and zerglings, making an extra pair, so you might go for banelings, in fact, uh, Overlord is just walking around. Right as soon as your spawning pool, you want to, or as soon as your spawning pool finishes, you want to, uh, make a Roche Warren immediately, a queen, and zergling up to, I like the zergling, make around maybe four or five pairs of zerglings, just in case, uh, they do do an all-in, or some speedling all-in. But this guy looks like he is going to speed and expand and uh, just pressure with six zerglings, it looks like at the moment. But uh, you always want to make sure you have more than that, and you want to know when their speed finishes. 
uh, Banelings speed or er, Banelings nest coming up, so he is gonna go for the Banelings, and this is the perfect build to counter it with this opening is uh, getting a ro early roaches. So as soon as they're pulled, goes down. You need a roach form. Sneaking in two drones there, so I'm a sneaky guy. Between popping up, injecting, and you need to know when the speedling or zergling speed finishes, so you can keep your zerglings safe at base. And you don't want your zerglings out here because if they have more than you and they have speed. You're finished. So Zergling Speed generally finishes around at five minutes if they do a Speedling expand, and uh, like I said, 90% of the time they will do a Zergling or a Speedling expand. So at five minutes, expect for them to have speed and don't have your Zerglings caught out in the open. So I have started to produce roaches now, and Banelings uh, are not going to be effective from this point on. Uh, I mean, he might get a couple of lucky hits with Banelings, but he's not going to try to Baneling bust this. I mean basically can't get up the, ro the ramp, and, uh, yeah. This Overlord does know that there's a hatchery here, so it is an expansion, and he's not going an all-in. But uh, I might consider doing a little pressure, and maybe even turn into an all-in by making just a lot of roaches, and you want to rally speedlings. So Zergling Speed is on the way. I'm going to sneak a little bit more drones before I do go for this attack. Uh, Zergling Speed. Once Zergling Speed is almost complete, you want to uh, start massing up the lanes. Around maybe halfway, you want to start making a lot of lanes. So then uh, you move your roaches out and rally lanes in. And speed lanes rally in so fast, they reinforce so quick. So, although it's cross map and it's uh, far positions, it's not really too big of a deal. And he does see my large army, and I'm surprised why he didn't build more static defense when I. Uh, finally attacked him in this game, and this is a short game, I'm going to tell you right now that he's going to try to die for this. He's <laughs> getting that uh, spine crawler. I don't see much defenses here, and I do, I mean, I see his uh, group of zerglings here, and the spine is just completing now, so there's not too much defense for him right now. So if I attack right now, it might be a good idea. Uh, moving out my roaches now, I have 10, 11 roaches, and I'm rallying speedlings. Don't miss your injects, those are so important. You don't need another queen quite yet. Uh, if you're going for this build where I just go circling Roach pretty much and kill him. But normally if you wanted to macro up, of course you want another Queen. Uh, make sure you have enough Roaches to block off your ramp with a couple of Roaches in your mineral line in case uh, they come for Zerglings, uh, or their Speedlings come in to snipe your drones. But this one I do feel like ending the game quickly because, uh, I like that. Picking up the spine, Zerglings are in the back and gazing. Right now, the spine does die. The Zerglings get a decent surround. My Zerglings are coming in. And I forgot to show you, but uh, if you notice, you can look back in the mini map. I don't want to go back, but uh, the reason why my Zerglings were so late was because I knew he was going to counterattack when I moved that with my Roaches. His Zerglings were waiting right here, so I had to leave Zerglings in my base. Otherwise, he'd come in and kill all my drones, and I might risk losing the game there. So I had to. Wait till the Zerglings were uh, coming back, and uh, I had enough Zerglings back at base before I could bring these. But uh, he is going to bring the Zerglings back now, so I'm not worried about leaving Zerglings in my base. I'm just straight up rallying them all the way here. So a lot of drones dodging the Banelings. Pretty good job on that. His Banelings didn't do much damage at all. Killing tons of drones here. I have enough of a Roach Ball that uh, Zerglings can't really get a full surround on them, which is awesome and what you want. All of them are pretty low, but none of them is dead. You want to get them where Zerglings can't get them surrounded, so the best place for that is the mineral line. You can stick all of them in the mineral line. He does have like 32 Zerglings on the way, but there's no use, because uh, I'm in his mineral line, and there's like a page of lanes in there with more rallying. Uh, there's just nothing you can do to come back from that, so that was a pretty quick ZBZ to show you guys my uh, usual opener, so I hope you guys now have a clue on how to play ZBZ. And uh, I'll show you some of my speedling expand builds later. And GM League's broken. Thanks for watching.